Welcome back. The 2016 Art Week Auckland Festival is underway right now, showcasing the work of over 1,000 artists in more than 100 venues, and it's over a 10-day period. One of the artists exhibiting is Hannah Jensen, who's with us now to tell us all about it and introduce us to her fantastic work. Ladies and gentlemen, Hannah Jensen, thanks for being here. Hi, thanks for having me. Okay, Hannah, would you say you are a full-time artist? Yeah, I'd say I'm a full-time artist. I've been carving for about 13 years now since university, but probably 10 years as a full-time artist. Now, I know that you kind of dabbled in some other sort of work before you went full-time. What mm. were you doing other than artwork? Lots of hospitality work, so lots of night, night, night jobs, restaurants and bars, yeah. So I could work all day in the studio and then work all night in Cause, the restaurants. I go to this restaurant sometimes called Prego in Auckland when I can afford it. Have you ever worked there? I was there for four years. I knew it, I knew it. And the Grove and Coco's Cantina and recently Sun. Yeah, oh, just a few little places around <laughs> Auckland. Now, of course, here we are at Auckland Art Week. Tell us more about that. Yeah, so it started on Saturday um, and it's running for the next kind of like 10 days until the 16th of October. And it, yeah, it's a whole bunch of amazing artists and it's nice that you can literally go online and there's 10 different suburbs that they've kind of broken it down into. But you can say, hey, where am I going today? And hey, I'm heading up to Ponsonby and what's going on there and what's happening. And so it just makes it a bit more... I don't know, focus on art for this particular week. So, And do you think, because I think what this does is it makes it accessible for people as well who perhaps wouldn't want to go to an art gallery. Absolutely. Do you think, do you think Kiwis are becoming more interested in art? Yeah, and I think also the um, artists as well and how they create it. Like there's a story behind the artwork because you can look at something and like it might be pleasing to the eye but once you've heard the story behind it and then how it's created, people are, are more attached to it. I'm interested to know about this because I heard it's something like 55 layers of paint. That's correct, so yes. Talk us through how, how this comes about, okay. this particular piece. So I call it carving and I don't know what else to really call it, but it's like lino cutting. So back when you were at school you probably did some yep. lino yes, cutting yourself. Yes, sure do. Probably yeah. still have the scar. <laughs> That's true, I have a lot of scars too. But I, what I worked out when I was at university um, through a lot of trial and error is that if you layer up a huge amount of layers of paint, and this has 55, then you can wow. cut back through the layers to the, reveal the different colours. So it's topographical, it's um, texture and, and tonal kind of work, but yeah, I kind of calculate how I do it. So I look at an image, I see it, work out the colours and then kind of go from there. And I guess too the light catches those little indents as well and changes the artwork. Yeah. Should we take a look at some of the other stuff you've got? Because I know we've sure. got five fascinating pieces to get through. So cool. let's take a look at piece number one. All right. What's this one? This is um, actually a sketch on a piece of paper. I've gone kind of back to the basics for a few of these works for Viewpoint. Cape Brianga looking out, you know, where the spirits leap off New Zealand, up in Aotearoa. And you, you call that a sketch? It's a sketch. <laughs> it's a, it's a piece little of bit art. It's a little yeah. bit of ink drawing. Yeah, like you basically a 6B pencil on you paper. You don't want to see my sketches <laughs> being compared to that. <laughs> We've got Piha up next too. Yeah, this is a hand-painted ink drawing. So just I did a light sketch first and then went over and hand-painted it with ink. Nice. Which, so obviously yeah. you change up what you do quite a bit. Is yeah, I, keep, I, I like to keep myself interested in the artwork as well as you know my lovely followers that mm. like my artwork too. But a day in the studio for me is always varied. Like I can't just carve all the time. Like my body will get a little bit tired of that. But just keeping variety is great. Mm. Yeah. And this is remarkable yeah. and obviously the, the remarkable. remarkable. Look at so the nice writing. work. Yes, yeah. yes, it is. This is a remarkable. So this is a sketch of it. Um, and then on the table we've got a carving of it. So. Yeah, 6B pencil on paper and then this is 55 layers of paint. So. And a world map as well. Yeah, I've been working on a world map recently which is really big. 40 layers of Fantastic. acrylic and then hand carved, it's about 1.8 metres. So oh my goodness. Over, I actually stopped counting at 100 hours of carving. I was like, I don't need to know. <laughs> and there it is. Labour of love. Oh, yes. Fantastic. And you are most well known for your carve work and you brought this piece in obviously which we've found out a little bit more about but we're going to talk more about your work with Starship mm. just after we check in with Holly. And we're back with artist Hannah Jensen who is well known for her carved work. She's brought us in this gorgeous piece of art today featuring the Remarkables. But you've also been working with Starship for the last eight years, mentoring and teaching there. seventh year there. So <laughs> Tell us more about that. Um, so I've been a volunteer art teacher up at Starship and I work with the kids in school at the Northern Health School and each week just run a weekly art class and the kids come down from their wards and get to interact and communicate and make a bit of mess and yeah, I absolutely love it. 
And the great thing about that is I've seen you, you're well supported by people that supply artworks as well. Everyone's coming together for that common cause. That must be nice to be part of. Oh, it's amazing. I mean, just kids need to get out of their like everyday routine in the hospital and just being mm. able to put some music on, get creative and be supported in that is awesome. Now, I wanted to know, can you remember your first big sale? Yes. <laughs> so you remember what it was? It was in my second year of university and I did, it was my first proper carvings and um, there were two very large carvings I did about 100 hours of these carved some birds out and it sold to a family member which was really nice and they were like probably about four grand each like wow. which was huge for me at the time mm. and so awesome and it got me traveling around the world so I took a year off wow. and we started some travel. Now it's not just art either we think you've got a bit of a well we hear that you've got a bit of a challenge coming up next year tell us yes. about that it's a hitchhiking challenge. It is a little bit of a hitchhiking <laughs> challenge yeah so at the end of March um, 2017 next year um, Casey and I were a team and it's like it's called the $10 Queenstown Challenge and we're raising a money and awareness for Cure Kids so we get to hitchhike from Auckland to Queenstown over a period of three days. Well there's plenty of uh, you know landscapes and stuff to be inspired by between Auckland and Queenstown Absolutely. too while you're doing That's good great. as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. That's, uh, and something else because you're just constantly giving back you're just that type of person I can see why your art so well loved because you just got a good soul too. Thank um, you. You, you, you're giving back to the coast as well because we're going to do something this yes. one here this beautiful carving that you see here we've got the actual sketch of that and we're going to give away a print of that sketch on our Facebook page you just have to tell us what your favourite coastline in New Zealand mm. is. And I'm interested gonna to know that. actually what your favourite coastline is. Oh, it would have to be Langs Cove. Yeah, uh -huh. we've got a family place up at Langs, nice. and I spend a lot of time out there on the water. I just Fantastic. love being on the water. Yours, Mike? Uh, my part of the coast, oh, tough question, Northland somewhere. Northland. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just, uh, up there. And mine is the west coast of the South Island, unashamedly a fan of the coast. Beautiful. Perfect. Beautiful. Okay, Thank and, you so much for coming in. Yeah, just yeah. quickly, Art Week, whereabouts can we find your stuff? Um, I'm at Pons on Ponsonby Road, 62 Ponsonby Road at Endemic World, which is an amazing, like, you know, boutique kind of gallery with, like, print store out the back and a little gallery out the front. Okay, oh, and for sorry. those that are outside of Auckland, obviously you've got a website that they can look at. That's right, hannahjensen.co.nz. Wonderful. Nice work. Auckland Art, uh, Art Week Auckland sorry, celebrates art in all its forms across Auckland. It's on right now and it runs up until the 16th of October. Make sure you check it out and get along. Right, thank you so much for joining us. Best of luck with that challenge next year too. <laughs>